Larry, we're going to tie a yes. grim fly that Larry Dahlberg came up with, and Bill Powell promises me this thing will, will catch fish. I tend to, when I cast on my thread, just hold the thread on a 45 degree angle like this, and what it does is it guides the, the thread down so that I get nice clean wraps all the way back. And what this does is it builds a um, a nice smooth body for me to build on that my materials aren't twisting around the fly. And we're going to use some of this chickaboo style stuff. It's a, it's a small marabou. And I'm going to fluff some up here from the side and peel it off and kind of roll a bunch of it just so they have a little puff of a tail. I'm going to clean up the back end of it. And get it nice and secure. And to smooth up the transition, check that I've got what I want there. That's pretty good. One of the things I do with my chenille is I'll strip back the chenille, just peel off the the actual chenille and there's a couple threads in the middle and these threads will make for a smoother body when you tie it in. So I, I just use my fingernail, strip it off and expose the threads and then secure on here. And this is a very simple fly. There's only two, two materials to it. Or in a half hitch just to keep everything together. I tend to put half hitches in just so that at each stage of tying so that I don't have a fly fall apart on me in the river or wherever I'm fishing. And now I'm going to wind forward. Nice secure wraps. And I leave some space for a little space there for to build up a head. Nice and secure. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you're getting the right hook. When right? I cut, I tend to and bring the scissors uh, down. Just take them down said, the piece of material that I'm using anywhere from and size cut. Four, and now I'm just really going to secure it down so here this all the way up to like a with a good solid head that I can glue down. What size rod you're going to be casting with, number one. And, you know, kind of what size bait those fish are trying. And throw in now several half inches here. No, um, not true whip finishing, but all the, all the fish, for example, are bigger, bigger so that it's not going to come apart. So that's the first thing. And again, and the thing sliding down the thread, is just making sure you do it step by and step down. then just a dash um, of a good zappagap cyanoacrylate. Well, not do very well is to organize your stuff to where it's to make things sure right things stay secure and that's it and it doesn't get more simple than that so, <laughs> so Larry Dahlberg's brim fly there you go